Hi guys. Um, today in our art lesson, we are going to draw for our topic um, dinosaurs. We're going to do a baby dinosaur hatching. It's very cute. So what we're going to need for this lesson is you're going to need your writing pencil. Um, you're going to need some a few colouring pencils, black pen, black pen, um, and any a brown felt colouring pencils and I've just got this at home at the moment needs a, like a peachy colour and a white colour um, paper okay or a brown um, paper I'm going to use a peach, peachy one because it's a little bit lighter okay so I'm just going to move this one out the way I'm going to start with my white bit of paper first. Oh, here he is. I'll just put that piece underneath the lid on. Okay. So what we're going to do is first is create a dinosaur that's going to go inside. So for this you're only going to need a small section of um, paper. So let's just turn it round. So we're only going to use only an A5. You only need a little bit. So we're going to create our dinosaur. So first of all we're going to come up We're going to come over for a sad face, down for a happy face, and curve it all the way round, all the way round, and back up, and then curve sad face, and come all the way down. We're going to give our dinosaur a nice big eye. But you could use some googly eyes for this one if you don't want to put this in. I'm just going to do a nice big eye because all new babies, no matter if they're human or animal, always have beautiful big eyes. And we're just going to put a sad face in there for the dark black top, the pupil bit at the bottom. Next, I'm just going to put a little circle at the top of this sad face. So as we came round, we come round for the happy face, over for the sad face, at the top, just put yourself a little sad face, and then underneath here, could I give another happy face? And then just to make him look really cheeky, just a little sad face at the corner. And there's our dinosaur, almost finished. Ready? Next bit, the last bit we need to do is just give him some spikes. Because we want him to make him look really dinosaur y. So I'm just going to get some spikes going all the way, like zigzags. All the way down. So zigzag up and down, up and down. Nice points. We want nice points and try and keep them all equal sizes. Okay, I'm just going to make this bit just a little bit longer and you'll see why later. So you can start going out a bit at the bottom, making it a little bit fatter at the bottom. Okay, and I'm just going to finish it off. Tell you why in a minute. So next I'm going to go around do, 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 and use my black pen in that line here. I always like using the black pen because it just gives it a nice cleaner line for you little ones. Then we're going to go zigzag, up, down, up, down, up, down, trying to keep it nice, stay on those lines, remember. We don't want to come off those lines. There we go, and then we're going to give him these lovely big eyes. And it's sad, sad face, this bottom bit, we can colour in in our black pen. We're going to give his little round nose, and his little... Happy face, he's happy to be born. Yay! Right, next bit. You can use colouring pencils or felt pens, whatever you've got to hand. So I'm going to use this bluey colour. I'm going to colour all his spikes in. So we're going to go like this. So I'm just going round the, actually, round the edge of the triangle. There we go. There we go. So that's done there. 
And then next, what we could do, we can do two things. We can colour all the body in one colour. Or, yeah, let's colour all the body in one colour. Let's keep it easier for ourselves. So I'm going to use this orangey colour. Now for our dinosaurs, I'm going to let you choose what colours you want. So you don't have to choose like a green or a brown, which probably a dinosaur would be. You're going to choose... Um, I'm using clashing colours because I think they're nice and we want to make them nice and cheerful. And as you can see, I'm just doing stripes. Sometimes that's good for their pens when we do these stripes down. If we go backwards and forwards, sometimes it just makes holes in our paper. So we can just go stripes all the way down. Okay, yeah, I know you haven't got a base to this, so just go beyond the base and we'll cut the end off. So we're going to go there and we stick him in the egg. And then we're just going to stripe there. And we mustn't colour the eye. And remember guys, the eye bit has to stay white. And I'm going to keep his nostril. Um, uh, clear at the moment. I'm just going to give him a little pink nostril. Okay, just a little pink one there. Okay. So what you can do is just leave that to one side or cut that out. Leave that to one side. Then I'm going to get my peach colour next. Let me show you. So let's just push our dinosaur to the side a minute. So again, you're going to just need a half-size piece of paper. And we're going to make our dinosaur egg. So what I want you to do is we're going to do a Sad face on the top. Use a brown pen this time. I'm going to let you go straight into brown. I'm not going to go into pencil and then trace over it. So you can use a pencil if you haven't got a pen. Use a pencil. So I'm doing a sad face coming down. Sad face, like a big sad face like that. Then we're going to go zigzag across the bottom. And join it up. Okay. I'm just going to go over and make mine a little bit neater there. Go over it again so it stands up for the camera as well. And then at the bottom, your piece of paper, we can do it the opposite, the other way around. So we're going to go big happy face. Now an egg's always bigger at the bottom than it is at the top, so I'm doing an extra big happy face. Let's just bring that round. like that big happy face like that and then I'm going to zigzag that along okay that's it more or less what we could do on this one is we could add um, some brown effects on it some sometimes with eggs you get um, some markings on the eggs so what we could do, almost like little, um, almost like little spots and dots. We could do, so this one I'm going to do brown. So just colour that up and down. Do your spots. And do it. This one I'm just using a brown pen, so it doesn't matter what colour because eggs can be surprisingly there's lots of different colour eggs you can have them in all different colour like bluey yellow brown darker browns more just lots of different colours all right so you're doing going to do that all right remember not to leave those white gaps Okay, and then you're going to do that on the top one. So, you should have, as if by magic, I'll just pause and come back. Um, you should have something ends up a bit like this. Okay, so then the next stage would be you're going to cut that out. Okay, so get your scissors. And you're going to carefully cut that and your dinosaur out and then we'll start constructing our pictures.
Right, guys. So, we have all our pieces cut out. Okay. So, what we're going to do is you're going to do a little bit. So, I've got my print stick. I'm going to just put a bit of glue across just the bottom of your um, uh, dinosaur. And then you're going to stick the bottom of your dinosaur behind. Like that. So it looks like it's coming out of the egg. Oh, I've done it the wrong way. Ah. Right, stick it the other way. I didn't think, did I? I'm not thinking today. Stick it on the front. So stick on the front. Put it behind the egg. Doesn't matter, that will dry. Then what you can do, what this one has done, and this is done by another child, um, but what we've done is got one of those split pins. So let me just take it out. Ooh. You can use one then. If you've got one line around, so you can use one of these split pins, like these. If you've got one line around, you just make a hole. If not, and then put a hole through both pieces, and then uh, it it just means it can open and shut. Um, so your dinosaur looks like it's coming out a big stretch. If not, what we can do is you can just add a little bit of glue, if not. So just add a little bit of glue on the last one. Just do it like that. It's all cracked open. Okay, so you can see. Here we go. It's all coming out of its shell and having a big stretch up, big long neck. Okay, next what, what we could do is we need to start thinking about creating a, a bigger picture. So what I'm going to do is just put that to the side. I'm going to create a bigger nest. So we're going to create some more eggs and then we can create a nest. So what I'd like you to do is we're going to do a proper egg. So we've only got one hatching at the moment. So we're going to start with a sad face. Straight, go down the bottom, down here. We're going to do a big happy face. And then what we just do is we just join straight line. Join like that. Straight line. Join like that. You roughly get an egg shape. Okay. going to round that off a little bit on that corner and then what we can do is I can go around that with my pen this time so I'll just trace over it now you can colour some of these in um, felt pen if you want to or we can use colouring pencils so what we could do is uh, we can add some different colour markings on so maybe I'd like to do a dotty one we can make it really cheerful so let's get a different colour so I might do a dotty egg and as it's Easter coming up it's it's um it's quite fitting really let's use this blue colour again so I'm just doing some spotty I've got my spotty egg okay so you can colour that cut that and cut that out we can do another one, so let's have a go. Do another one. Could do another one. Do it on a white piece. We can do another one on our um the rest of uh some of find some of the scrap of your peachy colour. We can have a go on there. So a sad face underneath. Big happy face. I think we're gonna join that up. And for you little ones, this is going to be the easiest way of trying to draw an egg. Not perfect by any means, but you're only little. So we're going to go around. Might make mine just a little bit deeper, happy face. There we go. I'm just going to rub that out, so I'm going to make that a really big happy face. That's a bit better shape. 
And then this one we can dry. Oh, I might use it. Um, blue spots. So we could use colouring pencils, or you could, if you want to, use finger paints. So you can dip in, and we can put some finger paints all over your um, egg. So we're just going to create lots of different types of eggs. So you could do it like this or on this peachy colour. Or you could use your bra uh, brown pencil and colour the background. So it's your choice. I'm going to let you create... Oh, let's see how many eggs. How many eggs should we do? Should we do three eggs? So you're going to do, so I've got one, we've got that one. We're going to cut three unhatched eggs. So one, two, and then we're going to draw another one. And then we're going to put the whole picture together. And we're going to see what, um, see what we can come up with, okay? And then we construct our nest for our um, final picture. And I'm loving all your work you're sending in, guys. You are doing amazing. And I hope you're having fun doing the pictures. Now remember, guys, remember when um, to keep those, uh, remember those white gaps when we're colouring? So we need to make sure we don't have those horrible white gaps. So I'm just going to colour this over. And you're going to do a much better job than me. All right, don't forget to submit your work to your teachers. So that... And then they will show me. Or I will see them. Okay, so just take a, get an adult to take a picture on a phone and then upload it and submit it to um, Google Classrooms. Okay, so we need to do one more egg, get these cut out and then we're going to construct our picture. Okay. Hi right, right, guys, right, so I've got all my pieces cut out. So what we're going to need now is um, a green piece of card. What I'm going to do, I had a genius idea, you can get some moss, okay? So you can pick this up in the gardens. Um, it just grows on site and it literally grows on the surface of the, um, of the earth. So what I'm going to do, I didn't shake this off enough, give it a good shake out when um, you do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some here. And what other things you could use? You might be able to, um, you can use anything. It's got a bit of moss. You can glue that down. So you might need some PVA glue and you can stick that on top. Also, I've got um, ivy. So ivy just grows anywhere. And they're the best leaves for um, doing this sort of work. So they don't sort of crumple up and go horrible. So we've got some ivy leaves. So we can create... A nice cosy little nest so we can put all our leaves like this if you don't want to use moss so let's take that let's just have that big bit there take that one you could just use um, just use ivy and create an ivy just grows absolutely everywhere this is um this is from my neighbor's garden it keeps on growing through our fence so use that so you can create like a nest picture glue it all down 
then what we're going to do is we can start putting our eggs okay i'll let you glue it down because i'm going to run out of memory so we can start putting our eggs laying in the nest so i might do this one uh, i might do this one just laying here so i'm going to glue these down let's glue these down there glue all my other bits down in a minute I've got my PVA with me. So we're going to glue that. Let's do this one. Tuck this under that leaf. Do it there. And what I might do, where's my dinosaur egg? So we get my baby dinosaur that's hatching. Now when we're doing our art guys we need to start thinking about um, doing backgrounds to our work okay because we've been uh, doing little pictures for ages and now we need to think about the whole picture so I'm going to do my dinosaur there oh it's just a bit big to come out top but that doesn't matter okay so we can do him hatching out and then I can just do my next one. Let's do my next one. Overlapping. So we can, when we stick, we can start overlapping. Like that. We can stick all that ivy down. I'm sticking that all down like that. You can use pretty stick or PVA. And it looks like, ta -da, looks like our baby dinosaur is hatching. Isn't that cool? What you could do, also, you can use some sticks if you want to, some twigs. Or you can construct um, some of the scrap paper, what we cut out. Um, you could put that and scrumple it up. Like that, and you could maybe use that as a nest at the bottom, and that just look really nice. Um, and have fun with this, guys. Look forward, I'm really excited to see, and see your pictures. Hurry up and uh, please send them in um, to uh, Google Classrooms. Okay, look forward to seeing them. Bye.